So, as promised, here is my review for the first Stephen King book I ever read, Carrie. Now, I chose to read Carrie mainly because I wanted to get into Stephen King. I know Carrie is one of the shorter books because Stephen King books are pretty hefty. And I thought, if I'm going to do it, I want to start slow. So I picked a shorter book, and I only realised, really, after I picked it, that it was the first book he ever written, or first book he ever had published. It was the fourth book he wrote, but the first one published. And I... It's, it was difficult, because I, bet I was then torn between whether to read it or not, because I don't like reading the first book's authors, right? Because I always feel as though they're kind of finding the feet, and it's never really... It never really pays off. You, I love authors' later works when they know their style. They know what they're doing. Whereas with the first book, you just kind of experiment and find what you like. And initially, I was a bit put off by the writing style. I wasn't enjoying it as much. But I kind of just, I just thought, well, the first book, let's just roll with it. And I, honestly, the writing style then just didn't become an issue. I thought it was actually so clever to do a writing style. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the three pros, three cons of the book as I usually do when I do a review. Really, I just, I didn't have that much to say that I found negative. So I don't really think it's fair to do a three pros and cons because I found, and I definitely found this with other books. For example, The Host, I definitely found it with that. I'm forcing myself to find cons of a book and I feel like doing that, it just kind of takes away what I love about the book because I'm trying to make myself not like it to find points to put in. So because I don't have that much that I didn't like about the book, I'm just going to tell you all the things I liked about the book and then a couple of things that I really didn't like. Um, I'm still going to do the spoiler section at the end of the video because with something like Carrie, if you know the story of Carrie, you know that there is a lot to discuss that if you've not read it, you, you can't really talk about it beforehand. So, to discuss all the things I liked about the book, and I know I've just said realistically the writing style wasn't perfect at the start, but it did become a non-issue for me. Like, it didn't bother me after a while, and I thought it was so unique with how it was done. It was written as elements of books. So... It's happened after the events of Carrie. Basically, Carrie is about a young girl who has the power of telekinesis. And that means she can move things with her mind. She's also heavily bullied by a lot of people. She's very much the outcast because of the way she was brought, brought up by her mother. Her mother is a, a religious woman who believes Carrie's powers are works of the devil, believes everything that anybody ever does is a sin. And Carrie's been brought up, punished for thinking about things that are sinful or doing things that are not how her mother likes it. So Carrie's very much probably mentally tortured right now. And then she goes to school, escapes from her mother, and then she gets bullied anyway by other students because of how she is. Um, and it's very difficult. The start of the book is about Carrie experiencing her first period. And she doesn't understand what it, what it is. Her mother never taught her about it. She never knows anything about it. And she assumes she's bleeding to death. And... Instead of actually helping her, all of the students around her, all of her female students in gym class, bully her for it. And honestly, it was awful to see. The thing, the thing I love about the book is how awful it was because it really, it drives home the emotional torment that this girl went through. It shows you everything, even the people that were meant to protect her don't. And I think the closest thing she came to someone protecting her was the teacher. And I don't really think she did that much. She basically had a go at the girls who tortured her, but she didn't do much else to help. And it, it made me so upset to read because it just makes me think like she's already gone through so much. And then this happens and 
as someone who works with mental health, it anything relating to mental health really sticks with me. It, I feel it so strongly. Um, as I've been through all of my training, I've read horrible accounts from people and I've read ho horrible stories and it, it does stick with me. Not... Not so much that it affects me, but it sticks with me and it makes me really think about things. And this is one of those books that made me think of how awful it must have been. Um, and I just thought it was done so well and written so well to not only get that emotional impact across, but really hammer home how alone she must have been. And... Basically, the book is written after the events of the book. Um, writing about all of this telekinesis, writing about what happens. And then as it gets to a section, it starts talking about the first sign of it appeared here. And then it went to like, it, it told the story that happened. So it's almost like a bit of a flashback. Um, but that was in real time at that point. There was also um, a story from another girl. Um, another character uh, and her accounts and basically she was a part of the bullying and was one of the only ones who actually felt bad afterwards about it and Carrie has been painted as such a horrible person and this girl defends her on that point and it warmed my heart to see that, but it was also a case of too little, too late. Um, so there was so much with it. It was it was basically an emotional mind mess, honestly. It just messed with my head. And it was such a good book. Without saying any spoilers, I get why it happened. I get it. 100%. If I had the ability to do that, and I went through what she went through, I would have done the same. I think Carrie is a perfect example of if you drive someone to the edge, they will eventually snap. And she did to monumental proportions. Um, and it was so amazing to read and heartbreaking to read because you know the second that she snaps that she is never going to recover from it. She is never going to be happy. She is always going to be the girl that did this. Or the girl that... She was going to be painted as the villain. She was never going to have her victim status seen. She was never going to be known as someone who was driven to the edge. She was just the girl that went crazy one day. And it hurts to see that. And it hurt me, and that's what made it such a good book, because I love books that make me hurt, make me feel, give me that high sense of emotion. So, honestly, phenomenal. Loved it. I did think it was really good. Now, in terms of things that I didn't like about the book, really not that much. I really liked a lot of it. I think the only criticism I really had was that the ending wasn't satisfying. It felt like after such a big build-up, um, after all of the events that occurred, just the last bit, it was just a bit like, oh, that's not what I hoped for. And honestly, in all the versions of the films that I've seen, the films, I think, did it better. Really, I can't criticise much from this book. It was really good. And now I'm saying it out loud and thinking about it, I'm now thinking, why didn't I give it five stars? But I didn't... There was obviously something at the time of reading it. I just felt mm, it was good, but it just lacked a certain something. Um, but overall, loved it. I thought it was a great book. Um, good work from Stephen King, considering it was his first one. I've never read any others, but this was really a make or break, whether I decided to read more or not. And I, I'm definitely going to read more of his books. So that is pretty much it. So... <laughs> If you don't want to know any of the spoilers, if you haven't read the book yet, then feel free to stop here. I will see you next time. I post every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, so thank you for watching and that is really great. If you want to see the spoilers, perfect. We will start in a moment. Okay, 
here we are with the spoiler section for the book of Carrie. Now, the the attack at the school, the telekinesis thing, the explosion, all of that was executed so well in this book. Honestly, I can't say any negatives about how that was done. Um, I think the only thing that let me down, and I said I, I, can't, I couldn't really say without it being a spoiler, was Carrie's death. I just felt... I felt, <laughs> I felt that Carrie was such a good character. She had so much, and she just died. It was just such a natural death, and... Although that's good, I kind of see the point. I see why it was done. It was done to show she's just a normal girl. But at the same time, she's not just a normal girl. She is a girl with phenomenal powers. In the books, she's crushed by stones and a house or something like that. In the version I've seen, she was anyway. In this, she gets stabbed by her mum. She hemorrhages. She's very weak and she just dies. And... It was it was emotional to say. It still had that emotional impact. But it just it didn't feel satisfying. It didn't feel as though it was a satisfying end to this girl's story. Um after everything she'd been through and after what happened, there was no way she was going to be happy. There was no way there was going to be a happy ending. But I felt as though if she was going out at least take her out in the blaze of glory. And she just died. Like, she just collapsed like she was nothing. And that, it wasn't satisfying for me. I really didn't like that. <sighs> hmm, yeah. But everything else that was done was really good. Also, the one thing I was a bit like, eh, on, just because, again, from the film that I've seen, was Chris, the bully that was the most tormenting of Carrie. She just kind of died within a matter of words. It was just pff, done. And I felt as though that wasn't satisfying either because after everything that she put Carrie through, I really wanted to feel every second of her death because she earned it. And that just really wasn't coming across that much. But again, like I said, good book. Not really any issues with it. So that is all from me. Again, I will see you next time, post every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. If you have continued watching, you've heard all this before, so I won't keep going on. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop a comment down below because I really appreciate all comments. And if you have read this and you could recommend any other books that are similar or any other Stephen King books that you think I need to read, then please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye!